And welcome back, Bobcat Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. Last week, we suffered a defeat at the hands of our Pac-12 rival, USC. We played a tough game in the beginning, but as I've said before, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And this time, it was USC that finished strong. Our offense fluttered, our defense fluttered, and we just couldn't close out the game and we took the L. This week, the script is flipped. We go on the road to Oregon to take on the 4-0 fourth-ranked Oregon Ducks. We are the 10th-ranked Bobcats going into this game, and this one means a lot. Two losses will guarantee us eliminated from playing in the national championship, as this is not revamp. Only two teams make it into the big dance. But let's head to the field and get the game started. Talk about battle of the defenses. Texas State ranked third in the country in points allowed, first in rushing. Oregon, fourth in the nation in points allowed, 11th in total yardage. Look at the rushing offense, though. This game does mirror the last one. It looks like their main quarterback is actually out for the season. He had a complete PCL tear, and he's gone to Seattle. Good Lord. It's another rain game. Of course, we go to the Northwest, and it's rain. We've got the all-white jerseys on. We're going to show some dirt today. Here in, uh, oh my God, in Oregon, it's going to be a rough one. Not only in NCAA do we get rain games, but also in NFL 12, Madden NFL 12. So we'll just have to see how it turns out. Here come the Ducks. I will give them this. They always have very nice uniforms. But the uniforms don't matter today. The green and black quack attack take on the Bobcats out of Texas. And here they come on the field to a resounding chorus of boos. And that brings us here. Another top 10 game for the Texas State Bobcats here in Oregon as the number four Oregon Ducks host the number 10 Texas State Bobcats. Oregon won the toss. They're going to kick it off to us. Chuck Dinman back to receive this one. Chuck Dinman. Chuck Dinman. Chuck Dinman got some room on the outside. Does he get the speed to turn the corner? Chuck Dinman. He's crossed midfield in a 53 yard gain, and Texas State starts the game hot. See if Darren Thomas can start out hot. Shaw will go in motion. Oregon has a bunch of people back in the back playing. Thomas. Thomas around the edge. Thomas. He shook off one tackle. He'll pick up seven. The rain making him slide off the defender. Crowd loud, Jones goes under center. He's gonna dump out to Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's gonna pick up the first down and a few more yards past it, and that will move the chains. We'll go first down, another handoff, and Thomas is met by the host of linebackers. He'll still get one yard out of that. Second and nine, they drop the linebacker. They're gonna fake the handoff. And Jones is going to let that one go, and it is <gasps> caught by Daryl Brown. 33-yard touchdown. What a play. The play action puts the Bobcats on the board first here on the road. What a throw by Brian Jones. He held it just long enough. He's going to get hit. But Brown, again, what can Brown do for you? He can give us six points and the lead to start the game. Carter puts the extra point through. Well, he was wondering how the game plan was going to look today with the rain. The throw seemed like it worked. USC continues winning as they drounce Colorado 31-19. David Carter is going to kick this one off. And this may not be brought back. It is deep. House will nil on it. And they're going to run up the middle. Oh, lucky tackle there. Phil Harris got the shoelace. And they're going to go hurry up. So Oregon Ducks not wasting time here. Second and two. They're going to run again up the middle. He'll get the first down. He meets TJ Manning. First and 10. And we're going to, oh, and the quarterback, he gets tripped up, and he'll get a couple yards, but Michael Silva. This may not be good for our defense. We're not good when it's a rushing situation. And there's another run, and TJ Manning's going to get to him third and four. I'm going to move the line in here. We're just going to try to push up the line. And it's a little screen. And he caught that one-handed, and he's going to break the tackle and get the midfield and the first down. It looked like Manning was on him. We go first and 10. They, they bring in the new play. 
And the quarterback, he was looking to throw it. He's got a wide open person there, and he's going to get through. And Brandon Fritz is going to pull him down by 32 yards. What a weird play call there. Looked like a desperation throw, and luckily the tight end holds on to it. So Oregon comes out with his lightning attack, and so far we are struggling with it. Quarterback's going to keep it there, and we're going to—he's going to break the tackle from Fritz. But finally, a lineman will get to him. Second and nine. Action moving really quick here in the first quarter. He's got lots of room. Schneider's going to come up and hit him and knock him back, and then here comes Melton, and that's a yard loss. Third and long. Loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Good defensive coverage there. Terrell Schneider comes up with the initial hit. So third and ten. They actually send in a play regularly here. We get a new, new set of coverage out there. The line's holding well. We got some pressure coming in. There's the sack. And he's down for seven yards. Great sack there. That was Lawrence Galloway out of Georgetown, Kentucky. The senior right in. Finally, finally getting out in the field. And he gets in the stat books. Love to see it. They come out. Lawrence Galloway was recruited on a whim. And he has made it to the field. And today he gets in the books with a sack. And that field goal is wide right. And the score remains 7-0. First and 10 here. And there's a throw at Brown. Another great catch by Daryl Brown. Dove for that one. It was a little high. First and 10, run up the middle, Thomas, he pushes, gets three yards. Good push by the line there. Jones comes under center. He sent Lee in motion, but he doesn't get over there. Thomas, Thomas tries to get to the outside, he'll get a yard. Looks like Lee was a little lost on the play, third and six. Third and six, Jones back in shotgun. And that is a terrible throw. It looked like he slipped in the rain and that's his first incomplete pass and that's gonna force a punt. So Fred Pickens out to punt this one. That's a big punt and Morris is coming in. And that's a big hit but he missed it and he slides off and that's a 10 yard return for George House. So they'll set up shop at the 25. Minute 37 left to go in the first. We'll see if Oregon comes out with their little Blitzkrieg attack. Good run on the outside. Schneider's going to have to come out there, and I think he... No, oh, they're going to mark him just a tad short. Second and inches. Oregon coaching staff getting the call played in. And there's another... Oh, what kind of graphic animation was that? He's down the edge. I don't know if Melton can get to him. He trips him up. Oh, my Lord, David Griffin, 63 yards. He had such a burst of speed back there. I've never seen that. And with a minute six here, Oregon trying to rush up to the line. And we're there. We'll stop him. Second and goal, no game. The linebacker's over. I got a feeling they're going to go. Oh, they know we're doing something. And he went up the middle, and oh my god, he gets crushed by Dawson. And he's going up the middle again, and we don't stop him there. And Oregon is an extra point away from tying this game up. And the extra point is indeed good. 7-7 seven, seven here. We got another studio update. Another big Pac-12 classic game. Chuck Dinman coming out here. What a spin move by Chuck Dinman. Oh, he had so much green room, but he ran into his own man. He's getting planked on now. So we're first and 10, 19 seconds left in the first. And Thomas is through. He'll get seven yards, and that should wind down the first quarter. So into the first quarter, it is all tied up at seven. Texas State with the ball. Second and three. And there's a dot. Burnett makes the catch, and he'll catch it for the first down. They move the chains. 
Send Johnny Walker out. And it's a toss to the edge. Thomas trying to get out there and he'll get two yards, but he couldn't turn the corner. Second and eight. And Jones is going to keep that and he's going to roll forward and he's going to get forward. It's going to be third and short. This is a pretty important down, third and four. Oh, and it's knocked down, tried to hit Johnny Walker. The pressure was coming. Pickens out, punts this one away. And again, another big hit. That dude just shrugging off our special teams. Nine yard return for house. Let's see if we can stop the Oregon defense here. A good tackle by White there. Tripped him up. Three yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Oh my God, what a hit. I think that was Daryl Lumpkin, the sophomore. And he puts the pound and it's third and long. Quarterback trying to do a lot here. Third and eight. This will be a big stop here for the Bobcats. And they're gonna get to him. And that's a seven yard sack. And that looked like Caleb Benson, I believe. The sophomore out of Kingwood, Texas, getting in there. Shredding his man and Silva had a rough series there. Three big hits. Hunt is away. Chuck Denman trying to turn the corner. He'll get up near midfield. He'll get seven yards. Jones in shotgun. He's going to float that one. And what a catch by Chuck Denman. 23 yards. That is perfection. I hope NFL scouts are looking at that. Just drops it right into the bucket. Oh, they're going to review it. He's only got to get one foot in, fellas. This isn't the NFL. Catch. Boom. Foot. Oh, he actually got two down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. I was going to say, that was a great catch. We have never ran this play before. Let's see what it does. Lee goes in motion. It's a power toss, and Thomas runs right into the back of somebody. One yard gain. Lots of movement, just didn't open up any holes. Jones back at shotgun. That's almost intercepted. Rain has to be affecting this, a so third and long. Crowd going ballistic here on third down. And that is a terrible blown up play, and it's a loss of six, and that may have put him out of field goal range. So we're gonna go for this. Oh, and he gets hit, we're gonna turn it over on downs, and they'll get it at the 34, so. That'd have probably been almost the net of a punt, so I'm okay with that. Our defense has to hold, though, 243 till half. We need to, uh, we gotta force an interception. Or a fumble. Not that at least. Good lord. We're giving them so much running room and I'm I'm protected for the runs. But it's not Matt. Oh, there we go. Caleb Evans says enough of that. So Caleb Benson and Caleb Evans, both of the Caleb bros get involved here today. Oh, and there was a big collision there. That was 97. That's Frank Rankin, the senior out of Corona, California. And that was like a helmet-to-helmet -helmet bump. I don't even think Silva saw him. The third and 14. Less than two minutes to go till half. And we got to him. Oh, and Fritz. Fritz, it was your duty to get that. Really thought Brandon Fritz had a chance to come down with a pick there. But it wasn't meant to be. Chuck Denman here. Sheds one, sheds two, and he's up to the 30, 12 yards. So evidently their quarterback was hurt and he had the wind knocked out. He will return though. Oh, what a 
double move by Chuck. Uh, what, a, what a double animation. 19 yard reception there. He left the defender. I hope they show that. He does an awesome move and just whoop. And then, like, he dives, but then the tackle picks him right back up. This game's being funky today. So they get the ball after half. So we need to definitely come down here and score. And that's a four yard rush there. Really need somebody to get open here. That might be it. And it is. And it's Daryl Brown again. A 47 yard strike. And Texas State strikes again right here. And he is definitely beasting and feasting today. Brian Jones just lays it out there in the rain. And there was so much separation between him and the corner. Just a better athlete there. You do wonder, though, if they left too much time on the clock. A minute left for a hurry-up offense. Notre Dame, the number one team in the nation, trailing by seven to Pittsburgh in the third. I always say I'll remember to look at that, and I always forget, but we will definitely have to check that out. Okay, he should run this out. It's close enough. Yeah, there we go. 21 yards by house. He's built like a machine today. They send four wide receivers out for maybe the first time today. Let's see if we can stack layers on them here and get to the quarterback. And we did not. They're going to call a timeout. Again, four wide receivers go out. It is a screen. We had a guy out there, and he's going to break the tackle. He's going to break another tackle, and they're up to the 45. Clock is stopped. Timeout. Got to creep everybody in here. Oh, we got to him there, but somehow. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Great defense there by Lampkin. Lumpkin. Just trying to watch things here. There's a quick throw. Uh-oh. And that's probably going to be good. They're going to be in field goal range. We've just not been able to stop them with any defense. And he's going to run. Oh, big hit there. He'll get seven, though. That's thrown way out, and he falls out. I don't think he – it's first and goal, so that has stopped the clock for a moment. 14 seconds left. And that's a throw right over the middle for the touchdown. And here in this top 10 matchup, both of these teams are just heavyweight bouters, and they're just switching haymakers right now. One punch, then another punch, and then another punch, and another. It's going to be 14-14 going into half. Extra point is true. Oregon does get the ball after halftime. So unless Chuck Dinman can make some magic here. And it does not look like that. Nine seconds. They may try to take a toss at it. You never know. First and ten. Oh, my God. Chuck Dinman. Chuck Dinman. Time out, time out, time out. Timeout called with one second. We may sneak a field goal here. Pouring rain. One second left. Carter gives them three points right before the half. And the play works. Coach Conquest. And Texas State is going to have the lead. 17-14 at half. What a turn of events there at the end. Start the second half here. David Carter launches this one. We'll see if we can keep him from getting a big game. And we will because House has to down it. Great game so far today. Both offenses clicking. Is a defense going to wake up and stop one or the other? So we start the second half. It's a ooh, big hit there. Foster get three yards, though. Love to get a three and out of here to start this off. They're lying. It. Yeah, I jumped. That's going to make it second and short. That stupid camera thing got me that time. 
So with that, we're probably not going to go three and out. Come on, boys. Bring him down. We, we just have no answer for their, their... They don't have an answer for us. We don't have an answer for them. Oh, he, oh my! Are you kidding me? Quarterback gets crushed and he still makes the play. Our defense is so hyped. They just can't get in to make plays. All right, they made a play that time. Silva goes down. He'll lose 11. Big loss on that one. I think that was Caleb Evans, the, the outside linebacker for the sack. It was. Come on, boys. Oh, we were there. We were there. Get him. Pull him down. Yes, third and 22 now. A yard loss. The okay, guys are a little out of position. I'm a little worried. He's going to dump it over the middle, but just stop him. There we go. Fourth and two. They may go for it the way their offense is clicking, or they may take the tie. We'll see. I'm going to do a safety zone because they've already missed one field goal today, and this one's pretty far out. We'll see. And this one is wide left. He's Bruh. missed both of them. Texas State stays in front. What a game we have going on here. First and ten. Jones under center. He dumps it off quickly. There's Burnett. Burnett up through the middle. Burnett is to midfield, 16 yards. Some high step in action there. It looked like he was at practice. Just big move there. Slipped a little bit. Throw was really quick earlier, and he goes through three people. Four or five, actually, and he'll get the first. Denman, Brown, Burnett go out to the right. And they're going to run to the left. Thomas, nice spin move. Thomas, he'll pick up six yards. He's a little slow to get up, though, on that. Second and four. Another handoff. There's Thomas again. Thomas pushes through. He'll get six yards and the first down. First and ten. The toss to the outside. Thomas needed a block, and he didn't get it. And he'll lose two on that. Second and 12. And that's a terrible throw, and that, is, that should have been picked off. I hit the wrong button, third and long. Sometimes you have to call on your hero. Let's see if he can do it here. And he's hit. Oh, he tried for it, but it was Johnny Walker, and he couldn't bring it down. Jones was hit on the throw. Pickens comes out, boots this. Oh, oh, this could be perfect if Morris could get to it and it goes in the end zone. Almost brilliant. We come back out. Three-point lead for the Bobcats. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Pull him down. Pull him down, Evans. He'll get five yards on that. Silva, Silva taking a beating today. Both teams want this one. Oregon. Oh, no, come on, get to it. Oh, we're there, we're there. Good hit, good hit. Three yards, third and two. We need to stop. Come on. Surely he wouldn't run it again, would he? He would. He would. And we missed. Oh, my God. If he wouldn't have tripped over his own guy, he would have been gone. He has taken over this game, and we cannot stop this man. I wonder if they know we put a spy out there. Our spy is nowhere to be found, and he's going to pick up. Oh, my Lord. Come on, guys. Defense. We pulled him down there. He dumped that one. Oh, but we'll pull him down. What? How did I face mask by jumping and grabbing his legs? Oh, more ref ball. Anthony White getting hit with the yellow hanky there. Evans got him that time, only a one-yard gain. Clock ticking down here in the third quarter. I can't believe how many quarterback keepers they're running here. And he's going to throw that one, and he's going to beat us. A little quick slant. First and goal. Yellow, yellow, 
And we hit him once, and he's going to push through and get the touchdown. Oregon going to squeak back into the lead here with a minute 51 left in the third quarter. And you got to wonder, is Texas State having the same occurrence that they had last weekend against USC? Is the magic already out of the tank? Started strong this game, but so did Oregon. Oregon comes back out, gets the lead. And Chuck Dimmons got it wide open. Tries to stiff arm and he's up 58 yard return and that's his second big return today. Texas State in striking distance already. Jones fakes the handoff. Quick throw, hits Chuck Dimmons and Chuck Dimmons will pick up 18 more yards. He's got a lot of all purpose yards today. Great throw by Jones. A little off. Denman makes the recovery move. Got a big hit there. First and 10. Draw play, and Thomas runs right into the defense. He'll lose two. Second and 12. Pocket collapsing, and Jones is in trouble, and he's going to get sacked for five. Just nowhere to go. Crowd starting to go bonkers here. And Thomas will get maybe a yard. Fourth down. Another long field goal here. Carter puts it in. And it's going to be a one-point game. Another booming kick. Probably going to be a touchback. House will not bring it out. Honestly, don't know what to do to try to get through this defense or this offensive line. He's going to run. We had, we had. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? 16 yards. We had a QB spy on him, but he just, they're not working for some reason. So we're going to the fourth quarter. It is a one point game here in this top 10 battle. Oregon edging out the Bobcats here at home by one. Quick throw almost picked off by Manning. We needed that one. We needed that one bad. Second and 10 here. Quick throw and Fritz is out there and that's no gain. Good tackle by Fritz. All right, let's see what we can do here. Pushing that line back. Oh, he's wide open. Brandon Williams, 14 yards, moves the chains. For a second there, I thought we had found a defense that works. And then we made a mistake like that. They score here, it could make it an eight point game. And Schneider, big hit on Silva. Three yard loss. We could pop the ball loose on one of those, that'd be great. Second and 13. Quick throw, Manning, Ford, and then finally Melton will bring him down, good Lord. He spread us out again. He's going to run here, I bet. But we're there. Oh, please bring him down. Yes. There we go. Fourth and seven. Finally, we get a stop. That brings us fourth and seven. Our pocket breakers got through, collapsed it down, and we finally get the Silva. And it could be the perfect time. This may be the first punt they've done all day, I think. Oh, this go go in the end zone. Good, good lord, that was almost perfect. If we could actually run the ball, we could run a lot of this quarter out. But that's the problem is I don't know if we can. And that's that's your answer right there. Is Darren Thomas just doesn't have the breakthrough factor, and we just can't get him around the edge as quick as we usually do. Second and nine. Oh, Chuck Dimon. Good, good break, broken tackle. That was a face mask. We don't get that call. Third and two here. 
Big play here. The crowd knows it. They're going bonkers. Shaw in motion. Get the block, and Thomas pushes through, and he gets the first down. Oh, man, that was a big one. Oregon Ducks pushing here, and there's Brown one-handed. <gasps> no, he fumbled it. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, not after a one-handed catch. Please don't be a fumble. Oh, he was down. He was down. Challenge that. The previous play is under review. We got to stop this ref ball. Yeah, he was down. Knee is down. Boom. Knee down. Knee, then the ball. Come on. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Yes! Oh, my God, yes. My Lord. And Jones is sacked. There is just no one to go there. Second 19. Clock ticking down here, though. But we do need to move the ball forward. We're on the wrong side of the field. Oh, come on! Now, this is, this is iffy here. Third and 19. This is definitely fourth down territory. He's wide open. It's Johnny freaking Walker, and that's a first down. Come on, boys. Just a little bit more filled. Johnny Walker, the hero, emerges from the ashes, and he gets us the first down we need. We're not quite in field goal range yet, but... Come on, come on, stay up, stay up, stay up. Ugh, six yards, we'll take it. We'll take six yards every run you do from here on out. And a big, big move there, and Thomas is through 10 yards, and the clock's going to go below two minutes, and they are in field goal range, I believe. The closer we get, though. And Thomas, he'll get two more yards, second and eight. Good blocking, good blocking, Thomas. Third and one. They call a timeout. We really need the first down here. Crowd going crazy. And Thomas is not going to get it. They call a timeout. As much as I'd love to run a gamble here. And go for that. We have to take the points. And we have the lead, but all they need is a field goal. <sighs> David Carter has done everything in his power today to keep us in this. 23-21. Can we find a defense that works? He may bring that out. He does. Big hit, but he didn't drop it. One minute to go. And he's going to run. He's going to run. Get him. Yes. Yes. Let that clock run. They've only got one timeout left. 43 seconds. Oh, he spikes it. So it's already third down. So the pressure really mounting here on Oregon. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. Fritz. Oh, Fritz. <laughs> you could have ended the game. But he knocks it down. Fourth and eight. They have to go for it here, right? This is the game right here. And, oh, and it's knocked down. Yes, yes, yes. What a play. Jeff Melton deflects it down. Oh, my God. And Texas State is going to take over. What a game. And I think our hero is going to be David Carter, the sophomore kicker out of Parker, Colorado. If you stayed here in the rain, you got a good game, my lord. And they'll run one more play, the final timeout, and I think they'll come out and kneel it here. And that should be your game. Whew. Critical moments in this game. Brown's non-fumble. 
David Carter's kicking leg and just Coach Conquest calling a heck of a game. When the defense didn't work, the offense did. And Texas State keeps the dream alive. They come away with a win here on the road against a top five team, reversing the cycle from last week. Is Brian Jones going to be your player of the game? He is. Oh, I would have given it to the kicker. Two touchdowns, 275 yards. I guess so, but good Lord. David Carter probably deserved that. Final score here, Texas State 23, Oregon 21. What a game. Going and looking at the player stats. My Lord, leave a like for this game right here. That was one of the best games we've ever had, and just strategy really had to play a part in it. Brian Jones, 203.1 rating, 15 for 22. So he was 68%, pretty accurate. 275, two touchdowns, no interceptions. That's the big one. He was sacked twice. Couple long passes for the TDs. I think they were both the Brown. Brown, probably another candidate for player of the game. Darren Thomas, some of you have said that maybe he's a bust. Maybe. I, it's hard to live up to Tom Sutton, but I don't know if Darren Thomas has more than 100-yard rushing game. I'm not for sure. But at 98, he just doesn't live up to that. Receiving Chuck Denman. Ooh, Chuck Denman had the most yardage today. I did not realize that. Five catches for 123 yards, no drops. Daryl Brown, four for 107, two touchdowns. His longest was 47. Ah, Denman had that one right before halftime. That's right, that led to the field goal, which actually led to us being able to win the game the way we did. What a crazy day. Senior Sean Burnett, they just cover him so much, it's hard to get to him. And then Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker put the team on his back. Two catches that we definitely needed him, and he made them. TJ Manning, eight solo tackles. Caleb Evans and Caleb Benson down here. Both going to bring them out. Just good games today. We had four sacks. Didn't seem like it. Lawrence Galloway early, got the one early. I mean, we, we brought him in early on. He doesn't see much playing time, but 83 overall. He shows up and gets a sack. Frank Rankin's there. Caleb Benson and Caleb Evans. David Carter, three for three. I mean, that's nine points right there. I mean, just a tremendous game by him. The sophomore, feeling no pressure, made the 39-yarder, and then two between 40 and 49 yards. Fred Pickens, three big punts today, netting 43.6 yards. I actually netted 93 total. That's a lot. Chuck Denman, amazing runbacks today, four for 156 yards. When you're getting 39 yards average out of the kickoffs, you're in good shape. Squeaker, the Ducks bow out at the end to Texas State 23-21. That fourth rank must be cursed this year because we lost at it, and now Oregon has, and it's both been to the number 10 team in the land. I do want to go check and see what happened to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and see if they actually survived their game. It really sucks you're at the Ford at a week before you can look at this stuff, but it does look like the Notre Dame survived, and they survived in dramatic fashion. I feel like... That score against Pittsburgh is not even the same score that it showed us because when you finish your game, it's already showed you games it finished, but if you go to the schedule, it doesn't put any scores on there. You have to actually advance the week. We did move up to number seven. Oregon drops down to ninth. Florida now has that curse spot. They are off this week, so maybe that's a blessing to have number four. So it's Notre Dame, Ohio State, Michigan, Florida, and Arizona State in the top five. Arizona State, another Pac-12 team. Then there's actually three Pac-12 teams right in a row, and then we've got Oregon very close. We are a loaded conference this year. We play Arizona, not Arizona State, this week. So it's a very... Actually, no, we don't play. We play UCLA, excuse me. We are at UCLA, so that will be an interesting uh, matchup. Indeed. The media has it has us at six. Brian Jones has one interception this season. He has made one mistake this season, and now that I've brought that up, it could be bad. It looks like UCLA is having a bad season. They're two and three. And then we've got a three and two Arizona, but then we got the big dogs, Arizona State. So four winnable five winnable games. It looks like Texas AM, who was ranked at the start of the year, having an abysmal season. And so is Colorado. So it looks like our test. We can't look ahead, though, is Arizona State and Arizona. They're the two toughest team left on the schedule. But I'm sure that everybody in the conference are going to play as tough. 
With that said, though, that brings us to the end of the episode. It looks like we're itching for the fight. We go on the road against UCLA here in week eight. Hopefully we can get the dub. Hopefully we can win in a dramatic fashion, or non-dramatic fashion, excuse me, where we actually can pull away and win solidly and prove to the voters that we deserve to be higher up in the rankings. Um, I'm hoping. But the only way we can improve in the rankings is if you hit that like button below, and if you're not subscribed, hit that as well. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and don't forget, make good decisions. Special thanks to these October Patreon supporters. If they were custom, I would enter them at the Cincinnati airport. Zachary McKinley, Cortia Zero, Nicholas Apsher, Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Party Commissar.